I'm sure you have already heard that, but London is an expensive city and you can easily spend $10 just like that. You can travel two kilometers in a cab or you can take the underground or any public transport for the whole day. You can get two coffees or a fancy green juice. You can get any souvenir or a magnet or two pints of beer, which seems to be a quite popular way of spending your money. Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. And in today's video, I want to show you what can you do with $10 in one of the most expensive cities in the world. In fact, it was ranked as the 19th most expensive city to live in. But today I want to show you what can you do with $10 as a tourist. But these are, as you can see, 10 pounds and we have even less. We have seven pounds 30. And if you're smart enough, you can actually get a lot with those money and I'm gonna show you how. Come with me! Don't forget to subscribe! And because I wanted to show you two different ways in which you can spend $10 in London, I also invited Ben to take part of this video. So I will have my own budget of $10 and then he will have it as well. And you have to tell us in the comments down below who do you think spend it in a better way. But as you will see, $10 didn't really last so much. So I also wanted to give you some ideas on things that you can do totally for free in London. Some of them are quite trivial, but others are VASIG approved, so stay tuned. Before we continue, I just want to share with you an online concert which my Russian teacher is organizing to support the homeless people in Coventry. The concert will be on the 13th of February at 7 p.m. UK time and everyone can join as it will be online and it costs only six pounds. All details will be in the description down below and also link to Eventrite from where you can buy the tickets. Now back to the video. Let me first show you how Ben decided to spend his $10. By the way, doesn't this really look like a house of Hansel and Gretel? Hansel, can I get a big pot, please? Our next stop was this bakery to get some hot tea because it was quite cold that day and you know, we're in the UK. We drink quite a lot of tea in here. And the tea costed £2.80, so at this point he had only £2 left. And in the end, we went to this Portuguese shop that has so many delicious things and we got some pastel de nata. They costed £1 each and this is everything which Ben got with his $10. And the first thing which I got was a cappuccino from Greg's, which I got totally for free. All you have to do is download the app of Greg's and you get any drink for free. Basically, they just asked me to scan this code and that's it. And I got it for free. I'm so happy. And because I literally haven't met a single person that is visiting London and doesn't want to have fish and chips now, I'm going to take you to one of the best fish and chips places in London that are actually in our budget and that's how I'm going to blow all my budget. Let's go! <laughs> but little did I know that for seven pounds I cannot get fish and chips. My budget was only for the fish and that's what I got but they were so kind that they still gave me some chips that you see in there. I was left only with 30p, but I couldn't do much with that. Let's start with the trivial free things that you can do in London. Of course, you can go to St. James Park, which is actually surrounded by three palaces. Of course, Hyde Park is another very famous option or Kensington Gardens. And something very cool about London is that all museums and galleries are free. So you can go for free to the British Museum, to the National Gallery, to Tet Modern, which is one of my personal favorites, 
or Tate Britain. And you know, no one is really gonna charge you if you go to Piccadilly Circus or London Eye or go to London Bridge because every single Gen X that I have spoken to seems to be obsessed with bridges. Or if you're a millennial, you can just go to famous cool places and take photos in front of them. You know, that's also free. And one of my personal favorites is Sky Garden because it's so freaking beautiful. Like, look at it. You get this amazing view because you're on the 43rd floor of this building that it's known as Walkie Talkie because of its shape. But at the same time, you also have an indoor garden and Oh my god it's so beautiful and again it's free you just have to make sure to book in advance you should go thrifting or buy something vintage but i made a whole video about portobello road market from where you can buy those things so i will just have it linked in the description down below you should totally get a free newspaper or a magazine and last very random fact is that in front of the national gallery there is actually a free bathroom so you know you can always use that Yeah.